In this video, we're going to show how to install our PVS series vent screens inside an intake or exhaust vent termination hub. As you'll see in front of me, we have two vent termination hubs. This is a 3 inch hub, and you'll see by the 3 right there, that's how it's easily identified. Inside the hub, there's an inner flange, and that's where our PVS series vent screen rests against. So before you begin, you want to make sure that the appliance is turned off and that you put safety glasses on. Most vent terminations point downward and you definitely don't want any debris getting into your eyes. So make sure you wear safety glasses and read the instructions that are supplied. Once the appliance is off and you have safety glasses on, you'll want to take a damp cloth and then go ahead and wipe out the vent termination hub. And this makes sure that any debris will be removed and the vent screen will be able to seat cleanly against that inner flange. So with it wiped out, take a dry cloth, get any excess moisture out of there, and then take the vent screen. This is a PVS RS3 vent screen. And you can take the vent screen and it slips right in there. Take your internal wire clip. Every vent screen we sell comes with one internal wire clip. So whether you order one vent screen or four vent screens, you will get one internal wire clip for every vent screen. Take one end of the internal wire clip, put it directly up against the housing of the vent screen inside the vent termination hub. Hold it with your thumb right here and you're going to guide it in with the other other hand. Now once it's in place you want to push it back and then expand it out. This way it conforms to that vent, that vent termination hub housing and it holds it in place. So right there you will see that the PVS RS3 vent screen has been installed. Now the benefit to using the internal wire clips is you do not need to use glue you don't have to use fasteners or drill into the housing and it fits inside so you don't have anything on the outside that would otherwise collect debris. Now removing the vent screen is just as easy. And why would you want to move, remove the vent screen? Well, because this is a winter vent screen right here during spring, summer, and fall you want to use the PVS IS series vent screen. This provides additional protection from insects and that will prevent bees and wasps from building nests within the pipe or within your appliances. So to remove this vent screen, what you want to do is take your nail on the outer edge of the internal wire clip, get between the internal wire clip and the housing, and then pull it towards you, like so. Now with that partially away from the housing you can pull the internal wire clip towards you to where it's pointing straight out like that press in and then the internal wire clip comes out and then you can go ahead and grab the vent screen remove it and then replace it with an insect screen or vice versa so one of the issues that people run into is their vents do not terminate with a hub so when you have straight pipe that's sticking outside of a home, one of the problems with it is birds can fly very easily into it and so can insects. But also on windy days that can blow up against the exhaust. That may actually trip the furnace, put it into a soft lockout. So what you can do if you do have straight pipe sticking out of your home, you can go to a local hardware store and purchase a hub. These are just standard Schedule 40 PVC hubs and most of your big box hardware stores have plenty of them. So to identify the size on this, it's pretty simple. You can look on the pipe. Right here it says 2 inch PVC pipe. So you would want to use a 2 inch PVC hub on the end. And We happen to have one right here. And you'll see right there where it's marked 2. So a hub has an inner flange in it and that will go ahead and slip on just like so 
and with that on, the other end will accommodate our vent screens. This being a 2 inch vent termination hub and 2 inch pipe, our PVS RS2 is installed. You'll see it right there. You don't need to cement weld this on or glue it or use any fasteners because it'll go on with a nice tight fit. You'll see right there it's not going anywhere. So now that we've installed the vent screen and shown how to remove it, if you have any additional questions we would certainly encourage you to contact us or visit our frequently asked questions page on our website. Most questions are answered on that page, but if you have specific concerns or questions, you know, by all means, reach out to us. We normally answer within one business day. Thank you for watching this video, and have a great day.